enjoy it. So Anna, how is it to be in Norway? Oh, it's, it's amazing. I'm very happy to be here, very excited. As you can see, there's a lot of photographers and journalists here to, yes. to see you. Tell us about the rehearsal. How did it go? Oh, I love the stage. I love the lighting. Uh, I thought it was amazing. I loved uh, singing the song. I, I like the song a lot, so it was a lot of fun. Tell us about the performance. What mm -hmm. are you going to do on stage? Well, um, basically, I, in the beginning, I have my guitar, uh, and uh, at some point in the song, I will lose the guitar, um, and basically, I will just be myself and uh, try to and try to uh, create some warmth and love and bring that to to the stage. That's what I want to do. What will you do now until the next rehearsal? Do, what do you have to work more on? Mm -hmm. I have to work on on. Uh, uh, on the cameras and what camera to, to look into uh, because I just I just got uh, this this gematra for the cameras so I will practice on that and just um, try to stay focused try to stay positive that's what I want to do as you can see there's a lot of uh, photographers standing I think we have to sit down there will be a photo moment later so you will get your your photos so of and the rest of the crew I will promise you guys uh, but first uh, tell us about the song tell us about the song you're singing. The song is written by Bobby Jungen and Christian Lundström. Um, it's a song about my life and me entering a new stage in my life, uh, becoming a grown-up, I guess. Uh, so this is my life, and I think it embraces a lot of warmth, a lot of love, and uh, a lot of hope. Yeah. How is the How is it to be a grown-up now? <laughs> I love the life of a grown-up. <laughs> Um, actually, I'm, I'm, I feel like a child as well sometimes, but I try to behave like a grown-up. <laughs> um, you have taken part in, in several celebrity shows like, uh, like Pop Idol. Uh, mm -hmm. How will you compare that experience to Eurovision? It's not comparable. This is, um, this is such a big event. Uh, it involves uh, the whole of Europe and Idol is just in Sweden. I learned a lot. It, it was a great school for me, yet. Uh, this event is just so much bigger, uh, so much more fun. Please introduce for us the rest, the rest of your, your group. Oh, we've got my choir. Uh, this is Martin. Hello, Martin. Hi. <laughs> and Anna, and Emanisa, and Jessica, and Kristen. And this is our head of delegation, Kristen. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we only have this little tiny stage, not like the one in, in, the, uh, in the arena, but some of the other de delegates have been performing a little bit for us. Is it possible for, for us to ask you to, to sing a little bit about your song? Is it? Is it? Of course. Okay. The stage is yours. Let's do that. <laughs> Please.
to the other one. Thank you. You have to tell us a little bit about the national selection in, in Sweden. How did that go? How... Well, I, there are five competitions before the big finale, right? And I, I entered the competition in Malmö, in south of Sweden. Uh, and I ended up winning that competition. And then I was in the big finale and won that one as well. How was it for you to beat uh, singers like Peter Jörbach and stuff? Oh, well, uh, I love Peter Jörbach. I've been listening to him my whole life. I, he's, a, he's a big idol. Um, so it, it was just a pleasure to meet him. And of course, it was <laughs> nice to beat him as well. <laughs> of course. Uh, we have a lot of press here. We will start by uh, some, some questions from, from the press. Do we have anyone? Yeah, Eric from Luxembourg. Please stand up and you will get a microphone. Hi. Hi. Um, great, great song. Congratulations on that. Thank you. And of course, you're very charming and it's, uh, first of all, a song contest, but popularity is also very important. Do you think that this helped you um, regarding the fact that you took part in Pop Idol mm -hmm. and you won the televote in Melody Festival? And mm -hmm. Do you think that's an important element also to win it? Important to have been on Idol before Melody Festival? Right, to, to yeah. win the televote in mm -hmm. Sweden. Yeah. Well, Ida was such a great school for me. I really learned a lot and uh, I learned basic stuff as doing interviews and and looking through the right camera. So it was, it was really great for me because otherwise Melody Festival would have been, um, I don't know, uh, a big surprise. Everything would have been new to me. So I'm happy I did Ida before. Oh, we got another question from Empo Norwegian TV. You can use both. What are the most important things? The first, is it important to win or to show Norway? What's the most important to? Well, he asked, "What's the most important to win or to beat Norway?" <laughs> um, I don't consider any alternative that important. I just want to do a good job and make Sweden proud. I want to do my thing and try to do my best. So. If I end up winning, I will be the happiest girl on earth. And if I don't, that's okay too. So I'm not in, in this game to, to beat Norway or to win. I'm here to do a good job. Uh, yeah, so to speak, uh, guitar. Mm -hmm. uh, guitar. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm a very big fan of Jimi Hendrix. Mm -hmm. Why do you play the guitar instead? I feel it. Uh, he said he's, he's a great fan of Jimi Hendrix and he's wondering why I don't play uh, electric guitar instead. Um, actually, I've been playing electric guitar a bit. Uh, I've, I've never ta I never took any lessons in guitar at all, so I'm not that good on, on the guitar. Um, but of course, maybe I should take that on consideration. Switching the guitar, yeah. Do we have some other questions? Yeah, you in the back. Do we get a microphone? Hi Anna, my name's Ian, I'm from the BBC in the United Kingdom. Hi. The red shoes, they were quite important to you, I think, all the way through Melody Festival. Mm -hmm. Have they come to Norway, and why the red shoes? I brought them here, well, I love, um, it's, it's Converse, these <laughs> uh, red ones. I just love them, I've been wearing them my whole life, since I was a kid, so. I feel comfortable in them, and I want to feel comfortable on stage, so I brought the red converse. <laughs> yeah, tell us about your dress, what you're going to wear on stage. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to wear this. Uh, it's it's uh, similar to the dress that I wore in, in Leuven, in Sweden, in the big finale. Um, but it's new, it's by Therese Setterbe, a, a great young designer in Sweden. Uh, and yeah, uh, it's, it's a lovely dress, it's, it's colored in champagne, yeah. Is it important for you to use Swedish uh, designers? No, not at all. I would be glad to use uh, international designers, designers as well, but I think she's, um, she's fantastic, she's amazing, and she's, um, 